Okay then, for my first cooking demonstration video, uh, I'm doing dough from raw potatoes. Um, basically, a saucepan, into there, and I'll wax some double cream. Exact amounts, I don't do. A little bit of milk, just to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, and then the secret ingredient. Horseradish sauce, cream called fresh. Always helps if you've got a teaspoon handy. Like that. Good dollop of. Even with the cream and milk. Get yourself a little whisk. Anything I'll do, just give that a little stirry, stirry, stirry. And it's not looking quite enough, so I'm going to put a little bit more milk in there. Okay, put that on a low heat while we deal with the rest. Okay, that should do. Right. Finally done, then. I've already grated some cheese on the, not on that side, on this side, so it cuts in the slices. Peel my potatoes, ready to go. You'll notice I have a nice flat edge on that side of the potato, so when I put it on the chopping board, it doesn't rock about. If you've got them, yeah, okay. Just makes it much easier for slicing, nice and thin, keeping your fingers out of the way. That's what you want, really nice thin slices of potato. You could use mandolin for this, I just find it's as easy to use a decent sharp knife. Um, save some washing up, mandolins are such a fat to take apart and clean. Just drops it on the floor, we we'll ignore that for now. They won't go in the final dish. Uh, cut the cuts on there. Okay, slide those across in the bin. Again, make sure you've got a nice flat edge so your potato's not rocking and rolling all over the place. If you want tips on how to use a knife, uh, jamieoliver.com. I'm sure he's much better at it than I am. Okay, so as you can see, slicing up the potato, slicing up the potato, all nice thin little slices. Right, so in the meantime, what we've done is just melted a little bit of butter in a Pyrex dish. Pyrex is a trademark. You don't have to use a Pyrex dish, you can use any sort of. So basically, melted butter, take a little pastry brush, just give it a little whiz round, that's just to stop everything sticking on too badly. And I'll have a quick check and see whether that. Uh, Cream, double cream, milk, and horseradish mix is warming up and warming through nicely. As I know, I'll mark it up a bit higher. Right. So, the idea with this basically, you take your bowl that you just brush with the butter, you just layer it up. Layer by layer, this slices of potato. Do do do. I normally go for sort of two layers in the bottom, two layers roughly of potato, just overlap them. Doesn't have to be precise, doesn't have to be pretty, but it will taste fantastic. Second layer's gone in, now what we want is a little bit of black pepper in there. This is quite a highly seasoned dish. A little bit of black pepper. Out for that, a little bit of salt, okay, a little bit of that. I mean, here I'm using red onion, it's could be brown, doesn't matter. Don't go too mad with the onion, I can put garlic in, a bit of cheese. Um, I'm using quite a strong cheddar, that's just my preference. You could use. Uh, I think we call it Gruyere is the one that is supposed to be used in this dish. But there you go, a little bit of cheese on there like that. Another layer of potato. Not 
rocket science. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, one more layer of potato. And that actually you just keep building it up in layers like that. Again, each layer, a little bit of seasoning in there, uh, salt and black pepper. Okay, uh, a smidgen of onion. Like I say, you could use garlic, personally. Um, I've got to go and face a client tomorrow morning. I don't think she'd be too pleased if I turned up to smell your garlic. Hey ho. A bit of cheese and another layer of potato. I think you're getting the drift now, yeah? That one's a bit thick. Um, okay. Again. A bit of pepper. A bit of salt. A bit more onion, a bit more cheese. Because the cheese will all melt down in the final dish and sort of redistribute itself through the cream. <sighs> okay, and again, um, I think we're going to need a bit more potato. Certainly, some of those were a bit on the thick side, so. Uh, Pop that on the side and just get stuck in. Turn that down so you can see what I'm doing. cracking actually because the Canadian Grand Prix, the coverage starts at 5, it's currently quarter to 5, I'm getting this prepped up in advance ready for a 7.30 dinner. Do, be do, be do. Okay. We'll pop you in there as well, pop you in there, keep it going, nice like that, again, each layer, give it a little bit of black pepper, A little bit of salt, a little bit of cheese, check the temperature of your um, cream mix over there. That's getting quite warm now. Um, so I've just turned it down a little bit. More potato required. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way when you're doing this. Throwing stuff on the floor. 
bit of an onion. Actually, I don't know, put any onion in the last night. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, Cheese, what have I forgotten to do on this layer? I've forgotten to season it. Okay. Alright. Again, a bit more potato. It's a bit of final layer. Got some to be excited watching a bloke slicing potatoes and not even doing it very well because it's his first time in front of a camera. Well, first attempt at a cookery demonstration at least. Looks for the cider. Mmm. So there you go, that's now ready. You can see that's just it's bubbling away. Right, just pour that all over the top, making sure everything gets a little bit of that. Okay. You might not need all of that. I think I will for this one. I think I've got the amount just about right. You don't want to, you don't want it spinning in this. It needs to be just below. Yep, that looks about okay. Let's give it a look. Again, a little bit more black pepper. Don't put any salt on the top. Don't like this doesn't work for me. A bit more cheese. Now, depending on whether you're doing this in meal time or, or, or you can prep this ahead. Let's say, I mean, this is just for two, believe it or not. Um, I'll just scan the rest of that cheese over like that and that will melt beautifully in. You can either then stick that into a fairly hot oven, 200 Celsius, don't ask me what that is in terms of gas, haven't a clue, um, I've got 180 in the fan oven. Oh, what I do like to do is just sprinkle a little um, paprika just over the top, just, just a little dust like that. Before it goes into, I'll say hot oven, 200 standard oven, 180 um, normal oven, about an hour, that would probably do it. And uh, part two, back it a bit with uh, what I'm cooking to go with that. <laughs> 